There's a question that all streamers and even content creators in general have asked themselves at least once and probably a lot more than that. And this question has even been brought up in my Twitch chat multiple times by various people. And this question is, should I quit streaming? Should I quit or should I keep going? Am I good enough? Am I doing it the right way? Is this all just a big waste of time for me? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be covering that question and talking about whether or not you should quit streaming and give you some things to think about that may help you answer that question and encourage you in whichever direction you need to be going. Now, one of the places that I see this question pop up a lot is on my Twitch stream. And if you'd like to come hang out with us on Twitch, we'd love to have you. We can also carry on these conversations there at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. So come join us and uh, say what's up. We'd love to have you in the community. But being a streamer and, and having these YouTube videos at the same time, I have a lot of people come over from YouTube that are looking for, for help videos and, and tip videos and things like that. And they'll come in and they'll talk to me on my Twitch channel as well. And so I see this question pop up a lot for Twitch streamers. Uh, but the question is, should I keep going? I've thought about quitting or I'm at this certain level and I'm not growing at all and I just don't know if I should even be doing this. For me, I've asked myself this question plenty of times, but one of the mistakes that we all make or at least a lot of us make when we start streaming is we have these little expectations or even just thoughts of what if. What if I start streaming and I am the greatest streamer ever and I have a ton of people come into my stream right off the rip, right? What if I start streaming and people just think my stream is the best and they just start showing up out of nowhere and we have no idea why I'm getting so much viewership and exposure and maybe other people notice me that have been streaming for a while and we start to tell ourselves that these things are little possibilities when the reality is that people don't just blow up on Twitch. Usually it takes years and years and years. In fact, most of the big streamers that you see today, most of the people that have got thousands of viewers and thousands of subscribers and things like that, those people have been streaming for long periods of time. And when they first started out, they had to click go live and they were right there with you at zero, one, two, three viewers on a good night. And that's a normal thing for streamers. Don't think that you're alone in this. You're not going to magically go live on Twitch and suddenly have all of these people watching you unless you're bringing an audience from another platform that you've already grown to a massive size. And that's the right expectation that we need to have going into streaming. If you're going into streaming thinking that you're going to somehow be the magical exception to the rule and get a ton of viewership, it's probably not going to happen. In fact, this happens very rarely and I don't even know of anyone personally or that I've even heard of that just blew up instantly. Now, some people some people grow a lot faster than others. There are people that got way ahead of where I'm at streaming in you know, one-tenth the amount of time, and that's gonna happen. And everyone grows at different rates and different speeds and things like that, and it all depends on decisions you make, the ways that you try to enhance your stream and make it as good as you possibly can and grow. But the expectation doesn't need to be that we're gonna find this instant success. In fact, we need to be more realistic and understand that streaming is a long-term goal. It's a long-term game. We're in it for the long haul. We're investing and we understand that it's not gonna be an easy, quick path, but instead it's gonna take a lot of work. It's gotta take a lot of hours and effort. It's going to take a long time and it's gonna be a slow build. It's gonna be a very slow build. In most cases, that's what happens. So a lot of times people will start out streaming and they'll give it six solid months and they'll go into streaming really gung-ho and they'll say in six months, I'm gonna really start making it. And the majority of people in six months aren't that much further than when they first started. Maybe they've grown from you know one or two viewers to five or 10, maybe 10 or 15. Maybe, maybe you've really, really been hitting it hard and you've grown to in the 20s. And that's awesome, that's amazing. But it's not gonna happen that way for everybody and we need to understand this and ask ourselves a couple of questions. One, is streaming something I actually enjoy? Do you have a passion for it? Because if you don't, it's gonna make it really hard to stay dedicated and consistent as a streamer. And consistency and keeping a schedule are two really big factors in success of a stream. And so if you can't stay consistent and you can't have a schedule or you can't really be motivated to even do it because you don't enjoy it, then the question needs to be, why are you streaming? At that point, is it is it just because you wanna get famous or, or you think you're gonna need a lot of money or things like that? Because if those are the motivating factors, although that stuff can happen for people, it's not a good reason to stream. If you don't enjoy it, why would you invest so much time into it? And so the question is, 
do you enjoy streaming? If you do enjoy streaming, then we've got some other things to talk about. If you don't enjoy streaming, then maybe this is the moment you say, okay, what do I enjoy? Well, I enjoy making special effect videos for YouTube, or I enjoy playing basketball, or I enjoy doing art, or I enjoy doing all these other things, but I don't enjoy the process of being a streamer. And if that's you, that's okay. It's not a problem. It's not a, it's not a big deal if you decide it's not for you. You gave it a shot and you've decided that you don't really enjoy it. But if you're one of the people that does enjoy it, you say, no, no, I really enjoy streaming. I really want it to be successful. I really want to make it something that I do and, and hopefully even do full time one day. If that's you, then I'm here to encourage you and say, don't give up. Don't give up. It's totally natural to have these thoughts of quitting streaming or, you know, that you're not good enough or you're not going to make it. But the reality is, guys, is that a lot of times streaming just takes the time and the effort over a long period right? It's not going to be something that happens immediately. So you're going to have to do that slow build for a long time. And you're going to have to say, okay, I'm in for the journey. But the important part is not to say I'm in for the journey and I'm just going to grind it out and keep my head down and stress myself out all the time. But rather, you're going to enjoy that journey. Enjoy that process. Make sure that you're taking a moment to appreciate every single step of the way, because there will be a day where you have so many viewers or so many people that want to play with you that you can't play with everyone. And when you're a smaller streamer, the community is a much tighter knit community because you can actually keep up with everyone and you lose that as you grow. Now, there are benefits to growth, but there are also benefits when you're first starting out as a streamer. And so there are times that I look back to the early days of my stream and I appreciate where we were at, the friendships that I made, the excitement we had at certain certain milestones in the stream. And now I appreciate how far we've gone and where we've gotten to and I appreciate all the stuff that could happen in the future, which we don't know about. But guys, I'm here to encourage you and say, don't give up. If you enjoy it, if it's a passion of yours, don't give up. The questions that you might have in your mind of whether or not you should continue are totally normal and natural. But I'm here to encourage you and tell you that those questions shouldn't cause you to deviate away from something that you love, but rather enjoy the journey, enjoy the process. And if nothing else, look at it as a hobby and say, okay, hey, look, if I don't make it as a career, I'm going to enjoy it as a hobby. And then if it blows up into a career, if it blows up into something that I do full time, great. But I'm not going to let myself get down along the way. I started out just like anyone else. And I started with zero people following, zero people viewing, and zero people knowing that I was a streamer. And we slowly had to go along the journey and do everything we knew how to do to grow. If you're needing practical ways to, to grow and be successful on Twitch, I've made a lot of videos that I've put here on YouTube for you. They'll all be linked down in the description, but I've made videos on how to grow on Twitch. I've made videos on mistakes that streamers make, how to get started streaming, even the business side of streaming and a bunch of others. So check out those videos. There'll be a playlist linked down in the description that has all those videos included and go through and watch the videos that pertain to you and things that you're wondering or look interesting to you that will help you further your streaming journey. And another thing that I wanna mention is if you're getting started out or you're early on in your streaming career, but you're like, I really wanna take it to the next level. I really wanna be more professional. I want my graphics and my logo and everything else to be unified and look good. Then I wanna introduce you guys to the sponsor of this video, Place It by Envato. Place it is one of the places you can go on the Envato marketplace that has everything you need as a content creator or a designer at your fingertips and it makes it extremely easy. For instance, if you're a streamer like myself and you need a logo, you also need some Twitch panels, maybe you need some overlays for your webcam, a just chatting screen, a starting soon, an ending screen, you want some animations and things like that. Place it has all of that and they've got it pre-made, but you can go in and customize different elements of the designs and the colors so that everything will look completely uniform and very professional for your stream. Check out Place It with the link in the description of this video to save yourself 15% off and you can start getting designs for as little $7.08 a month. And you'll be able to download anything you want on the website. And so it doesn't cost you anything extra. You get unlimited downloads. You can get your logo and your panels and your overlays. Guys, check out placeit.net. They're an awesome sponsor. We love Place It. I use Place It all the time now. And if I had known that Place It existed, when I first started streaming, then it would have made my life so much easier because I spent hours and hours and hours designing overlays and graphics and things like that. And place it makes it so much easier. So it's literally a no brainer, guys. Check it out, link in the description, save 15% off today and get your stream looking awesome. And if your logo looks awesome, your overlays look great, your panels look good, and your overall brand is uniform and complete, 
people are going to be more likely to want to follow and see what's going on with your community. It'll it'll be a great presentation. And so you want to do things like that and also check out those other videos I've talked about that help with practical tips on ways to grow and, and things that you should be focused on as a streamer. And that's going to hopefully help you get into the right mode as you go along in your streaming journey. And remember, guys, I tell everybody this. Enjoy the journey. Don't take for granted each place that you're at because each place that you're at is a part of your growth. If you've liked this video, smack that thumbs up button to help get this video out to as many people as possible. Let's help encourage people on their streaming journeys. Of course, if you like this channel, smack that subscribe button. And if you want to see when videos like this come out, smack that notification bell. Also, guys, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash eaglegear. So come hang out with us anytime. We would love to have you in our community. In addition to that, you can also find me on Twitter at eaglegarrett. I'm on there all the time. I'm on Instagram at Eagle Garrett as well and on Facebook. So come find me on any of those platforms. We would love to see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the journey. Rock on. Peace out. God bless. Links for everything in the description. Last but not least, Kaka! Oh! Somebody clip that! Oh!